And up next, another man saying goodbye to Olympic competition, Elvis Stoiko of Canada. Elvis, 29 years old, he'll be 30 on March 22nd. In his fourth Olympics. Twice the Olympic silver medalist. He's resurrected his Dragon Long program dedicated to Bruce Lee. He even talked to Bruce's widow, wanted her to be here. She couldn't be here. this same program in 1994 and I really felt that he earned the gold medal on that night coming in second to Alexei Ermanov. Opening with a quad triple combination. He did this at the recent Canadian Championships. Quad toe. Double toe. Not enough speed in the leg, but still. <laughs> still. Another quad coming. Get one down there. Let's do one down here. Another one foot quad. <laughs> Three jump combination. of the martial arts, incorporating it into his program. In practice, he's been working a quad lutz. If he's gonna do it, it's gonna be right here. Never before landed in competition. Triple lutz. Triple toe combination. A little too big. Couldn't control the landing. gas just a little bit.
And after the injury he endured to win his second Olympic silver medal in Nagano, it's just nice to see him smiling at the end of the program. What a great piece of personal closure for Elvis Stoiko. He gave it the best he had. And this Elvis is still in a competitive mood, apparently. He's planning as of now to go to the World Championships in Japan next month. Elvis Stoiko. And we're back at the Salt Lake Ice Center where the marks for Elvis Stoiko are about to go up. Elvis completing his final oh. Olympic skate. Technical merit marks. And really the marks at this point are almost secondary to right. Elvis. I'm sure he wants to see some big marks, but for him just to be here and to be skating as well as he is, that's what means the most to Elvis. I think this is kind of an exercise right now. What a career, what a man. What a phenomenal athlete and competitor. He will be missed. A man who advanced the sport.